We're going to look at some uh, multi-point anchor rigging using a bowling. So we're going to do a whole series on multi-point anchors. So we're going to knock this out. We're going to use these carabiners up here as our two-point anchors. Obviously, we had trees, anything like that. Same concept. So we're going to do a two-on-one uh, bowling. Then we're going to show you the way to do it with a variant as a rigging bowling. We're knocking out some of the prototype element rescue ropes we just got in. So uh, we're going to slip that through from the outside or from left to right uh, on that first anchor point and get ourselves some extra here. Now, as we're looking at this, this is what I'm gonna build my second point of my anchor off of. This is gonna be our working end of our rope. So when we do that, we're gonna go ahead and pop our bowline like we would normally and run that piece through, right? And this is gonna be kind of the out the hole, around the tree and back through the hole. All right, so as we're looking on this, we're gonna see the form of our bowlings taken right there. And now this piece here that's on the inside tail, right, is this gonna go behind. And we're gonna take that to our second magnetron here, flip that in. And now as we're coming down, this is gonna go back through our nipping turn. And this is where our anchor is still adjustable at this point. So we can adjust it this way we can adjust it out this way. So we've got a two point adjustable anchor. We're gonna just put it right here in the center so we can kind of keep seeing it. Now, there's a couple different variants that I've seen on this. Um, I've had people that have followed this line down and brought it the opposite way around than we did our initial, which would give us a cowboy bowling, which is fine because of the amount of nipping turns, it's, it's still gonna hold. We're gonna do us, ours is just a regular clean bowling. So as this comes around, we're gonna go back around the same direction that we did, bring that through our nipping turn and you'll see kind of how our bowling is, is formed right there. So as you can kind of see, I got two and two. I can kind of bring this over to the third, which I'm going to. So this tail is going to go right in between here and I'm going to capture those three strands and I'm going to do a Yosemite finish. So obviously with the Yosemite finish, it's going to follow this nipping turn around, which is going to go falling from the inside down, go around the outside, back to the inside and then it's going to come right out the bite of the bowl in here. And as I tighten that, we wanna make sure we always remember we tighten the first nipping turn, which is our working end of our rope down, and then our second, and we got it. So I left us some extra rope here just to show how to do this if we wanted to make it a rigging bowling and go ahead and rig a system off of this. So to do that, I'm gonna back us up a couple steps to where it was still able to adjust, which is right in this area here. So if you see I have a single point coming through here, all we're gonna do is put a bite through that first nipping point now. So when I adjust it, I'm gonna know where my point is that I wanna rig it. So this is kind of the point here, this is the static point. So now I just take in this part of it till I've got enough tail that I can still grab. So at this point now, I'm gonna do and finish it just like a bowling, right? That we did before, so that comes around the back and then back through this hole. Just like what we did before, we're gonna capture those three lines in the Yosemite. So I just let that kind of fall right there, let it drop down. It's gonna go on the outside, wrap around, and I just gained two more nipping turns as we saw there. And that is now gonna come out right here. That bite is gonna get pushed through the terminal part there. Now when I do this, same as before, I want to wait that first nipping turn, which is my working end of the rope, and then go ahead and wait my turn there. And now I can rig right on this like I would normally. If you haven't seen how to do that, we have a video on rigging the rigging bowling. So check that out.